I talk all the time about the broken infrastructure in the plastics recycling and why it must be the focus of innovation and change. While this is true and echoed by the likes of the Alliance to End Plastic Waste and the Recycling Partnership and many others, it's still just part of the problem. Continuing our discussion of the incredible knowledge center and community being built by the Recycling Partnership, let's look at behavior because you can't continue to do the exact same thing over and over and expect a different result. We know all that that means. Also, you can't expect to impact behavior even with change of interaction or infrastructure without communication. The Recycling Partnership says that while 8 in 10 Americans believe that the effort to recycle is worth it, 74% say they have not received any information, update, or encouragement to recycle in the past year, and less than half believe that the items that they're recycling are actually recycled into new items. Communication, as TRP calls it, and I agree, systemic communication is what we have. It's ineffective at best, and in most cases, non-existent. Effective and aggressive communication is what is needed. The pace of changes to recycling programs and the changes that are already here, scheduled, and in the future for packaging and recycled content are constantly and will constantly change the materials that can be recycled. The technologies in recycling also change the behavior required from the consumer to effectively recycle. A living, flexible, and aggressive communication structure must be implemented, and the cadence of communication cannot depend solely on the changes to the accepted materials. Results, reminders, news, results, reminders, news, offers, encouragement, results, reminders, offers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, over and over and over again. Aggressive communication, involvement. Communication is a two-way street. Surveys, town halls, schools, and organizations, appearances. You get the picture. Hey.